Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and today I got you guys the 1.14 I'm Not a Hipster update vehicle kind of setup we got here. Uh, there's seven new vehicles they've added in, and they're all fantastic. And uh, before I get started, I want to apologize for once for my driving, because my driving's terrible, because it is 7.30 in the morning, and uh, I want to also apologize for if I have a kind of a sleepy voice or anything because it is 7.30 in the morning. However, I did want to put this out to you guys because I feel like you guys deserve it. And, uh, you know, I've been sitting here all night trying to uh, just quit Grand Theft Auto and get back into it wait for this 1.14 update to pop up. And uh, finally it popped up at about 6.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time for me. But, uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, this is the very first car. This is the Sports Classic car. It costs $400,000. Um doesn't have too much customization to it, though it has slight more than some of the other sports classic cars do. But, uh, you know, it's it's a pretty good car, though uh, what makes it different is its front-wheel drive, which a lot of people don't really care for. And another thing I don't really care for is the headlights. They have kind of the vintage yellow color to them. And even when you buy the upgraded lights, when you turn on the... Uh, fog lights it just goes back to yellow again because uh, they didn't upgrade the fog lights they only upgraded the headlights so uh, that's a negative about this car but it looks pretty good um, you can do quite a bit of stuff to it and as you can see the hood looked ridiculous whatever it was supposed to be but uh, yeah um, let's go ahead and jump to the next car guys next off we have probably my second favorite car in this car list that they've added because it is the smart car. It's the Benefactor Panto. It is a uh, compact. It costs you 85 grand, which I think is a bit ridiculous. But uh, once you soup it up and everything, it's definitely worth it. It's actually pretty fast. So I see a lot of people getting this because it'll probably uh, dominate the compact races. So uh, there's a ton, a ton of customization you can do to this. Um, as you see here, you can just pretty much cover the whole thing in stickers. And uh, so that's what I want for here. And uh, when I do the spray, I go for kind of a clown car look just to make it look hilarious because, I mean, it already looks hilarious. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I couldn't help but smile when I pulled this car out of the garage. I, uh, I just want to say that I'm also doing this in story mode because I am poor online. So, uh. That's that, but the prices, those are online prices, because I know the majority of you play online, so you would like to know what the online prices are, and uh, you can care less what the offline one is, because you get it free in your garage. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So, uh, this car, it's very customizable, like I said before, and not only is it small, it's fast. It's ridiculous to think that a smart car could be fast, but this thing is really, really fast, and it, this thing turns on a dime. It's ridiculous, and uh, I've already bought one online. It's uh, one of the two cars that I've already bought online, and, uh, you know, this thing is just amazing, and uh, you can just slip through the tiniest spaces. Like you can see right here, I just slip through there, no problems, and, uh, you know, this thing's going to be a ton of fun to play with, and uh, tell me you get what you guys think of this car, because I think it's just downright amazing. And uh, Rockstar, you are awesome for putting this one in. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go to the third car. Here, we have the Benefactor Glendale. I believe I said that right. It is a sedan. It'll run you about $200,000. To me, I believe this is probably the runt out of all the cars. It's hard to believe that uh, there'd be a car kind of worse than the smart car. But the smart car is fantastic. But uh, this one, I mean, you could do quite a bit with the customization but uh you know it did, really didn't impress me that much when i was driving it so uh i mean it was a good car and uh you see me go for kind of a crazy kind of paint scheme it's uh only because of my license plate colors so i just wanted to match them because i didn't have to i don't know i was lazy and it's 7 30 in the morning once again and uh, i just wanted to uh 
see how this car was and uh, just move on to the next car but uh, yeah this was a pretty nice car I mean I don't mean to uh, talk down on it or anything but uh, you know it just really not as impressive as some of the other ones are and uh, as you see coming up we have some pretty impressive cars so uh, stick around for those definitely and uh, I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse of uh, what this car is like I mean, uh, I mean, it's not too impressive. I mean, it's still a good car, and uh, I just went for a crazy look on it once again. And, uh, you know, the rain probably didn't help it out too much, because the rain just destroys traction and all that other stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, if you guys like it, go ahead and buy it yourself. But, uh, in the meantime, I probably won't buy it anytime soon. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next car. Next, we have the Vapid Blade. This is a muscle car. Uh, this car is also known as the Buick Special, for any of you who are uh, close to cars or anything. Um, this is a fantastic car. The real-life car is super heavy, so uh, they didn't do too bad of a job at uh, capturing how heavy it is. Though, uh, in the game, it's a lot lighter, which is very nice. Um, because you can just get that extra turning you need, the uh, steering and whatnot isn't nearly as hard. But uh, you know, there's quite a bit of customization you can put towards this thing, and uh, I really like the uh, new hood they put. Um, it's it's different, which I like it. So uh, you know, I like new things. I like different. So uh, yeah, there's that. And uh, while we're in the paint right here, uh, I want to uh, tell you guys that there are two new paint jobs. There are uh, two gold paint jobs, and they're in the uh, metal ca category, excuse me, and uh, you can go check them out there. They're both gold. Um, not 100% sure what they're called, but uh, you guys go check them out for yourselves. So uh, they don't look too bad, um, though they look more of a bronze color in my eyes anyways. But uh, yeah, but uh, this car, I couldn't really show its full potential either because it was rainy, which I do apologize for. Um, if you guys want me to, I will go, gladly go back and uh, kind of do more in-depth of these vehicles. Um, just a look through and a walk through, I guess. I don't even know what to call that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic vehicle, and uh, you, it really goes. And uh, you can see, by the way, the car sits. Um, the front end actually sits a little higher, so you get that extra, like, torque. So you get pushed forward. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next car, guys. Here we have the Volca Volcar Warrener. Excuse me. This is a sedan. This will run you about 120 grand. This is a fantastic car. You can just customize so much on this. I didn't actually realize how much you could customize on it until I actually took it into the shop. Because, I mean, right now it's just a boring, plain old car. But once you start to uh, get into it and see all this different stuff that you can do to it, it is just insane and uh, just how many different bumpers just everything the wings spoilers whatever you like to call them um, there's just so many things you can do with this thing it's just one of my favorite cars easily and uh, I will probably end up getting this one in the future and uh, once I get money I will uh, definitely definitely be purchasing this this car here um, but uh, yeah I mean, you could do so much to it. You, uh, I feel like it's probably gonna be a good tuner car because uh, all the, for one, all the customization you could do to it, and uh, I feel like it'd just be a really good drift car um, all around, which uh, is very good for tuner people. And as you can see, you got the little uh, drift ring um, on the back bumper there. So uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, a ton, a ton of customization to it. As you can see, I had like tape going through the headlights which is I don't know um, and left me speechless so uh, yeah I mean it's a, very, a fantastic car it really really is I definitely definitely recommend it and uh, it's gonna be one of the top sedans in its class it is it is top one of the top sedans in the next ex, ex, excuse me guys I can't even talk uh, I'm sorry I apologize once again but uh, you know go purchase this car if you like it if you like customizing things go do that and uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next car before I uh, decide to fall asleep here here is definitely my favorite car out of all this um, this is the Dubsta 
6x6. This is an off-road vehicle, so it cost you about $249,000. This was the very first car I bought um, out of the new cars here and the I'm not a hipster update because this thing is just so insane and uh, I absolutely love it. Move over Sand King because we definitely have a new grave digger right here. This thing is literally a tank. I, uh, as you can see, once I am done customizing it, because it has a ton of options you can choose from, I, uh, rather than playing the safe route and uh, trying not to get a scratch on it, I just drive through everything. And, uh, you know, this thing just looks so amazing. And uh, Rockstar really, really outdid themselves with this car because, I mean, it literally left me speechless. I decided not to lower the suspension because it is an off-road vehicle and I don't want to sissify it at any at all. And, uh, you know, I want it big and tough like it's supposed to be. I don't want it uh, down to the ground, um, just taking away some of its toughness. But uh, as you can see here, this thing just, it's a monster. And, uh, you know, I absolutely love it. it this is probably my favorite vehicle in Grand Theft Auto now. Um, before it was the Zentoro because it was just such a good car all around. But uh, this thing just, it's, it's amazing. I see, yeah, yeah, I just owned a Mustang back there. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through here and just rampage with this thing with it act like a tank and uh, you know this this car is just a ton of fun and uh, we know the heists coming out um, this is definitely the car to have because you can fit your whole crew in it you can uh, fit up to six people in it and uh, you know it's freaking awesome I definitely definitely recommend this thing and uh, yeah I mean it can run through anything as you see me run through uh, regular dubstep right there and uh, yeah and uh, yeah, it flips pretty easy if you uh, tend to hit the back of a taxi um, while uh, hitting a sharp turn or something. And uh, you know, it drifts really good too, which is uh, really nice to know because you know it's just fun to drift all around. And it, you know, it's even funner to drift in this huge, insane truck, monster truck thing. And uh, you know, I definitely recommend this car, guys. Uh, you'll have to uh, go to the Warstock web page to buy this because it's not in uh, any of the other web pages so I uh, go buy that there and let's move on and finally we have the D Class A Rhapsody this is a compact car this car will run you about 140 grand which uh, I mean it's pretty expensive but uh, it's definitely definitely worth worth the money um, you can customize this thing quite a bit and uh, I absolutely just love this thing and uh, it's a ton of fun to drive and I like that Rockstar kind of went back to the old games and took Grand Theft Auto cars from uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4 and just brought them back over and just kind of revamped them a little bit and uh, really made them that much better and uh, they even went back and created a car that was already in Grand Theft Auto 5, the Dubstot, and just made it this huge insane like monster truck looking thing and uh, as you can see right there the hood just made me fall in love with this car and I mean the flames helped pretty much and the reason I painted orange is to go wrong with the flames so I know a lot of people don't like the color orange for some reason but you know I think it's a fine color so uh, you can paint whatever you want but uh, you know this is what I painted it <laughs> but uh, yeah the uh, I also wanted to uh, point out that there is a new uh, window tent it is pure black and it, I believe it is free because I got it for free on both my cars I bought online so uh, you know you should get it free too so uh, yeah tell me in the comments below what you guys think of these cars go out and buy them yourself um, go to story mode you can test drive them or if you're rich enough online test drive them online um, go ahead and buy buy all of them if you'd like I uh, definitely definitely recommend the smart car and the dubsta 6x6 um, all the other cars they're fantastic too so uh, feel free to buy any of them that you choose now uh, you don't have to go along with paint schemes or anything that I've done. Um, it's your car. Do do with it what you want. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more in-depth vehicle analysis, I guess. And uh, keep coming back to my channel throughout the day. And I'll be releasing more stuff on the update. 
and uh, all this other stuff. Now, uh, I'm going to go before I go pass out, because it is 8 o'clock in the morning now, and I haven't had any sleep. So, uh, comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.